for and they've they've wildly mistreated Monique. I hate it. I hate how they treated her. Mm-hmm. She's so talented, and because she tells the truth, they scare. They what do they hate? It, boisterous it, black right. people. Yeah, not just, not male, just male. Just, don't, shut your mouth. What they tell uh, at LeBron? Shut up and shoot. Shoot. Play dribble. Shut, shut up and dribble. dribble. Shut up and dribble. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yes, hold on, hold on. Okay. I know y'all were talking about a Cat Williams with... Um, going Chad, back to that? But no, did you get to see Monique? Yeah, we were just talking about, about that. that. Oh, but I was about talk. to bring that back up, though, because okay. Monique said something about... On, uh, what's that, Moish, the one that she did? What's the her show? Um, oh, the Parker's. Parker's. Brody, do you want Mama to join? Well, I want to join that one. <laughs> That's a fraternity. They're only interested in men. Good, so am I. The Parker, she said, and I thought it was good. She said she, she, she only made, made 55000 I'm like, damn, episode. episode. I'm like, and that's she not was, bad. Like, she but was then, mad about it. I, ain't that, is that no, good? So well, I'm asking know, you, is that then, bad? That was bad. because Because schedule, well, at that time, not schedule F. Schedule F when I was doing Scandal. And I got arrested. You came and sat with me in a holding cell for hours. I owe you. I think I was making seventy-five thousand dollars a week. But that's so, way so, after. So, yeah. So, Parkers. but seventy-five thousand dollars a week is scheduled left. That's the lowest they can pay you as a lead. Oh, oh, um, see, I didn't so, know. So, as a lead, that's the lowest oh, okay. you can get paid for the first three seasons. I'm not sure how many seasons the Parkers so that's did. They did a week. bunch. They did a so lot. After the third season, you can renegotiate based on the ske- the success of the show. That's where people go from seventy-five thousand oh, wow. dollars a week to seven hundred fifty thousand dollars a week. You gotta help me yeah, on this, I'm saying. bro. So, so what? Whatever happened after the third season? They, I mean, if they kept her at that number, that's ridiculous. But you gotta yeah. help me on this because I, I know people. When you sign these contracts, when you deal with these deals, is it something you can't negotiate? Not negotiable. Seventy five thousand dollars. We renegotiate. It's just like the NBA. First three, you sign them for three seasons. Correct. Boom on your on your rookie contract. Uh, when the third season is, that was another thing that was happening too. When on the scandal, my third season. That next fourth season, I was about to be on some friends cash, like friends looking, <laughs> yeah. like, looking like Matthew Perry out here. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? I was about to be looking like Charlie Sheen, out here, okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> minus the tiger's blood. Okay? <laughs> uh, uh, so I was about to be making some heavy money, right? Um, and I think that scared some people, but nonetheless, whatever that was wrong for, and they've they've wildly mistreated Monique. I hate it. I hate how they treated her. Mm-hmm. She's so talented. And because she tells the truth, they scare. They, they, what do they hate? Boisterous it, it, black right. people. Yeah, not just, not male, just not male. Don't shut your mouth. What they tell uh, at LeBron? Shut up and shoot. Shoot. Play dribble. Mm-hmm. Shut up and dribble. Mm-hmm. Shut up and dribble. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. So you know what I mean. Uh, I think now it's the cat said this right. Twenty twenty four is a year of the truth. Wow. Um, tell the truth. I mean, you know, I'm not scared of nothing. You can't kill me twice. Um, and you know, it, it allows, I was in this model my whole life though. Like every so often reinvent yourself, um, stay to your core values, the truths of who you are, integrity, morality, um, you know, loyalty, um, dignity, class, discipline. Um, but then reinvent yourself. That's real. You know, uh, reinvent yourself. You, you don't have to be stuck in one thing your whole life. And educate um, yourself. And uh, stay educated. Have to. Could be a consummate student. Kobe taught me that. Um, you know, we're never too old to study. We have to be learning every day. In this generation, do you see more and more people talking about talking out? Even with Taraji. Taraji spoke out about it yeah, as well. Yeah, because they're feeling safer. But there, some people are, there's, there's two sides of this. There's people just cloud chasing, right? Mm-hmm. That just want to say something just to, you know, Cassidy got that 30 million out of men. Now everybody telling those story, girl. That happened in 1972. You just now you talking about what that Big Daddy Kane did to you in an <laughs> in, in and out drive through in Los Angeles, 1978. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, like we we come on, ma'am. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but there's we, no but, statute on but, certain but, things. But I mean, you know, there's uh, you got in a fight with Method Man in a hotel room. Yeah. You know, back in yeah. 1991. Yeah. I mean, come on. But the stuff that is relevant is you got to. Th- we don't know what kind of recovery that happened, you know, mm-hmm. uh, mental, mental. Uh, PTSD and scars and damages that by speaking about it, by being able to come out and say, this happened to me. And now not having this thing that's, you know, proverbially this dark cloud that's over your, your life. 
um, affecting your interpersonal relationships with your spouse or interpersonal relationships with a significant other or your kids or your family members because of some damages that's been happening to you. You know, sometimes the only freedom is to speak. Wow. But bullying come apart too because then yes you you have that freedom now with your family but then if you're a person that look on social media and read these comments and stuff like that then that's where you got to be thick skin. Thick if you're going to come out here be prepared to yeah. get some some clap back, some fire some some, some 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 shots back, you better have on a Teflon vest, right? So, you know, I that's why I don't read sometimes I read the comments, sometimes I don't want because yeah, you respond. Well, yo, I, I come I clap I clap back. <laughs> I'm like, "Hey, it can, it can I clap back. I clap back at any given moment." <laughs> Yeah. You know, if I'm feeling if I'm feeling froggy, I might leap out there. You know, yeah. uh, but you know, like uh, Katie, a clap back. But um, somebody told me a long time ago uh, when you know, dead or like a movie review was coming out, or when you know movies were coming out, and I'd be so nervous opening weekend, like, what's this movie gonna do, and like, what the reviews are, what's what's Ebert, yeah. what's Ebert gonna see? We say, right. you know what I mean? Uh, what's the back when Cisco was a little? I'm like, what's Cisco and Ebert gonna say? Uh, and they say, if you're gonna read the positive ones you got to read the bad ones too or not don't read them at all so people got comments you know with comments people i I advise everybody whether you're famous whether you're not um be easy on the comments and people be easy on people that are in the public eye that post um be easy on what you say in the Mm -hmm. comments because a lot of people out here wouldn't be wouldn't be able to stand out here for two seconds uh, uh, without being broke down to their first molecule. No, that's so true, man. You, like I said, when I when I think about you, man, the way you snap in the character, man, you are ble- you. Not only are you blessed, but you're so talented, bro. Thank you, man. Like, I appreciate like, that. To even see you on Tubi, to be honest with you, it pushed that pushes that platform up because right. your acting ability is so real, bro. And I don't care, that's bro. A, that's you a, great a beast, point. man. That's a good point. I told uh, you know no, whether I'm on Tubi, whether I'm on. No matter where you at. I to do once they say action, I have to do my job. You a beast, bro. I have to do I'm my job. I'm telling you, yeah, man. I just, I, if it wasn't, I'd be real with you. <laughs> yeah. You really bring it. Like yeah, you it. made you you man. You so is he underrated? Yeah, very much so. Yes. Well, I, I, whether rate underrated, at least, at least maybe I'm rated, could be rated. Uh, I'm going rate to I'm a, I'm a continue to do good work. You kill it, um, and you know that's the blessing of it all. You know, growing up in this business. I am a I am a master of my craft yeah. in filmmaking, television, um, and so now it's like I'm making it. I'm not I'm not calling nobody, you know, waiting on sitting in my in my house waiting for somebody to call me my phone or send me a script. Um, I've been due diligence. My due diligence has been on point. I mean, I've been writing. I've been I have a full slate of film, television, um, partnering with strategic strategic partnering with finance financiers and big money backers that I'm making my own movies and putting other talent, putting other talented artists um, in position to be successful and giving them shots because, you know, um, damn the gatekeepers that they don't. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.